Did you know you can make a four color snake knot? Well, if you saw my short on it a while back, you know it's possible, but today we're making it into a bracelet. Just make sure you choose your colors wisely as it could make or break this design. So let's go. I've got my four colors. I'm using silver gray, white, red, marigold, and midnight blue. With this first pair of the silver gray and marigold, I'm going to clip the ends and give them a melt, then hold the molten ends together and let them fuse. I like to give it a little roll in between my fingers, but be careful doing this and use silicone finger cots if you have them and don't burn yourself. And moving the joint section to the right slightly, I'm going to tie my first snake knot. With the silver side, make a loop around the marigold strand. Then move the marigold strand to the right, going behind the silver strand. Then wrap it around the front and through the first loop you just made. Tighten and cinch up that diamond knot and try your best to cover the joined section with the snake knot. And at the same time, form a loop just big enough for the diamond knot, which is roughly three quarters of an inch or about two centimeters. Now from here, we can integrate our other two colors. The blue cord is going to pass through the snake knot loop on the right and have a bit of the cord coming out the knot. Then with the red cord, pass it through the silver gray loop on the left. Loosen the knot if you have to. And from there, we can tighten the first snake knot as much as you can. So now we have all four cords lined up. And from here, we can continue to tie the second snake knot. This time with the blue cord on the right, we'll make a loop around all other three cords. And the red then moves to the right, wrap around the front, and then through the first blue loop. Tighten up that second knot. And now we're back to the first color pair. So using the same method, tie the next snake knot right under the previous. And remember the right cord is going to wrap around all other three cords and continue to tie that snake knot. And then from there, this is the pattern. We're just going to continue tying snake knots, alternating between the pairs of colors. Continue tying your knots, alternating down the length of the bracelet. Make sure you tighten each knot evenly as the bracelet can look a little wavy if you tie some loosely and some really tight. So just make sure you're consistent. I've now made my way down the bracelet. And now whichever cords are more towards the outside, we're gonna snip those excess cords off, melt with the lighter, and then press down on them to lock them in place. In my case, I'm snipping the silver gray and marigold. Also up top, snip, melt, and press down on the excess cords coming out up top as well. And finally, to finish off this bracelet, we're going to tie the diamond knot. If you need an in-depth tutorial for this, I'll have it linked. But with the right cord, make a loop and lay it on top of the opposite cord. Then the opposite cord moves under the right cord and then under its own standing end in the middle of the loop. Then from there, right cord moves counterclockwise past the red standing end and then through the middle. Same with the other cord, go counterclockwise past the opposite standing end and then through the middle. Cinch up the diamond knot and adjust the placement so that it works for the sizing of your bracelet. Then finally snip, melt, and press down on the tail ends. You can use a marker to color in the darker colors to hide the white melted end. And there we have it, our four color snake knot paracord bracelet. 